The Biden administration is threatening to ban TikTok if its U.S. operations aren't sold. Many lawmakers believe the Chinese-owned social media site is a national security risk. The U.S. has been negotiating with TikTok for more than two years on this. Representatives for the social media platform say a sale would not address data concerns. China accuses the U.S. of suppressing TikTok and spreading false information about data security. TikTok's CEO is scheduled to appear before Congress on this next week. And some experts are calling the move purely political, saying there is no concrete evidence of a security risk. And joining us now is Georgetown law professor Anupam Chandra. He's an expert on the global regulation of new technologies. Thank you for being with us. Uh, estimated 100 million Americans on TikTok. Anupam, so when you talk about a potential ban, that gets a lot of attention. Why do you think that there is no actual threat posed by TikTok? So TikTok is an unusual app to make the centerpiece of a national security uh, concern because it's mostly, as we just saw from all those videos, a public-facing app um, where people share information. It could be silly dances, it could be their political views, et cetera. But mostly it's an, it's an app that's um, where people share things to the public. Um, so most of the information on TikTok is largely available to the world already. So if there's something that you're saying on TikTok um, that uh, you're liking on TikTok, et cetera, um, you know, it's pretty much already out there. Um, so you don't think there will be a, an actual ban uh, coming down the pike? And what about the, you know, the location services? Because that's a big part of uh, what the concern's all about, right? So the concerns are about two things, about data being uh, exfiltrated, um, that is uh, stolen from the app. Uh, and second, the concern is about propaganda. Um, GPS is something that can be turned on or off depending on how you use the app. Uh, and so some people will turn it on if they want uh, the TikToks that they receive to be very local. Uh, my GPS is off, um, but so, it does know your IP address, but your IP address is known by everyone that you interface with on the Internet. Yeah, all, all, it seems all, every app uses that. Um, but as you know, the White House has really been criticized um, by Republicans over this, hence the, um, the answer from uh, the Biden administration. How did this become so political and what does each side have to gain by making their arguments? So no one wants to appear weak in the face of a foreign adversary. Everyone wants to appear very strong, mm -hmm. that they're protecting Americans. My worry is that this focus distracts us from the real cybersecurity risks, uh, from much more serious cybersecurity risks, spyware, hacking, ransomware. These, these are common, so commonplace that we kind of uh, just ignore them, and they've become uh, we've taken our eye a little bit off the ball. I'm not saying the government isn't worried about that, but Congress has focused, you know, is having hearings on, as you'll see next week, on TikTok, um, and uh, perhaps should be focused more on other ways, including, of course, uh, the sale of data uh, about us. So you don't have to own the app to acquire the data from it. You might just be able to buy it on the secondary market. I get it. This is the shiny issue right now, but TikTok says it's spending a billion and a half dollars on this firewall and when the CEO uh, talks to Congress, what kinds of things will you be listening for uh, from, from leadership? So I think the question is, um, are we confident that our data is secure, uh, that our data is not being shared widely with any actors that we are unhappy with? Um, and I think, you know, he will have to say, you know, look, these are the things that we're doing to, to do this. And there has to be auditing and things like that. And I think that's what he's going to try to uh, show next next week. Um, and he's also got the challenge to sh show that it isn't a propaganda machine. Now, note that lots of governments are using TikTok to promote themselves. Politicians use TikTok to promote themselves. The Biden administration has invited TikTok influencers into the White House to promote its agenda. So um, the propaganda um, question is a complicated one because, um, you know, politicians want to use any uh, media that they have to sure. promote their views. All right, Professor Anupam Chander, we're going to leave it there from the Georgetown Law School. I want to thank you for uh, being with us. We appreciate your perspective. Thanks very much, Ray. All right, take care. All right, let's turn it.